Hello, I'm Nigel Talbot and I'm an experimental test pilot with Leonardo Helicopters. So, let's start with a few basics about helicopter handling qualities. Helicopters fall into three broad categories. Unstabilized, those with some kind of basic stabilization system, and automated helicopters. With each step brings an increasing level of capability and safety. Unstabilized helicopters, which cover the majority of small helicopters in service today, require continuous pilot control inputs based on good visual cues to maintain stabilized flight. With an unstabilized helicopter, the pilot is the stability. Flying in bad visual cue conditions, such as night in remote areas, cloud, or poor visibility, can be extremely demanding of pilot skill and leads to a high probability of disorientation and accidents, as the statistics show. A stabilization system helps and makes a helicopter equivalent to the minimum standard required for fixed-wing aircraft. But you still need good skill, training and experience to fly safely in poor conditions. But, and there is always a but, and it is vital that the pilot fully understands how the basic stabilization system and the automation works and what it can be expected to do in the various operational situations that can occur. Even with helicopters equipped with automation, a high level of attention is needed by the crew to ensure correct use of the system and maintain mode awareness. We need to ensure appropriate cross-check parameters on integrated instruments when using flight directors and autopilots. Flight crews can lose mode awareness or may not understand the interaction between a mode of automation and a particular phase of flight or pilot input. Rotor low. Rotor low. Unusual attitudes can still occur due to incorrect use of automation. Fortunately, this time the recovery performed by the pilot was just in time. The accident has been avoided and the consequences have been limited to exceedances of aircraft limitations. Many accidents are related to problems of human automation interaction. So be aware of the automation weaknesses to make best use of it. And remember, if you fly unstabilized helicopters, be very careful about the conditions you choose to fly in.